What's poppin' y'all? The rollout for 21 Savage's new album is in full effect. You can kind of see a rollout coming when people weren't really talking about someone and then boom, all of a sudden everybody's talking about him and every little thing that he does. Now, that's not to say 21 Savage wasn't hot, pause. Uh, he was poppin', he just had an album with Drake, they just went on tour together, he was doing his thing, they've had big songs on there, but he himself... He hasn't dropped anything and people weren't just posting, all of these pages weren't just posting about 21 Savage if it didn't have something specifically to do with that tour, which wasn't the case. So it was downtime, which is why Drake isn't really getting posted right now. It's downtime. He dropped an album, people will listen to the music, the music lives on, but there's really no point to talk about him unless something important and relevant happens. Cue in the supposed movie slash documentary that was going to release, and this is my favorite part about this it was uh called like american dream coming soon the 21 savage story and it was a very odd like movie poster right you had donald glover childish gambino aka childish gambino with the 21 savage dreads are those dreads if they're not fully grown out yet whatever twists whatever you want to call it. i think they're dreads actually and he has the sword or knife if you want if you want to call it that i think sword is way cooler than a knife on his head so people thought okay is this a movie this started getting some good traction and everyone's just wondering like yo what is this about so it sounds like a movie but then we find out that and this is the good part about it it's ambiguous enough that people are like huh this is really what is this about so it'll drum up some attention as well as some conversation which it did and then we see like some clips short short clips and then we come to find out that it's not really like a biopic. At least I most certainly hope not. It seems like somewhat of a parody in the same way that they had the Vogue, the Vogue parody for the album that he did with Drake. Now, is this really a biopic? I hope not because like why would Donald Glover ever play 21 Savage? I don't think it's going to be a full movie. I think it's just going to be an album because we saw him announce an album on his platform, on his Instagram. And he said, my third solo album, American Dream this Friday. And this isn't, and then he has, now he's got the UK flag and the US flag, which he has been traveling a lot. Funny enough, if you guys remember just a couple of years ago, he was locked up at the border or like he got arrested or detained by ICE and he was under removal proceedings. Jay-Z worked some magic. They worked some magic. Suddenly the dude's got a green card. Meanwhile, people have been waiting 25 plus years to get theirs. Crazy. I don't know how he did it, but I guess that's what money and connections will do. So now he was able to tour Canada. He went to France. He went to the UK visit his other home and that's why i think the album cover is pretty cool because you've got his full name you've got the case numbers obviously not real case numbers and then hopefully it represents a lot more of his life and i think that's the theme of the presentation around the promotion for the biopic quote unquote now the clip that i saw where they were talking about him like there was a clip that i saw of donald glover sipping on this double cup they're asking him some questions. I'm just looking at it like, there's no way this is real. And I think people thinking it's real is part of the promotion. So it's like, hey, this is this is going straight to Tubi. This is going straight to DVD. This is an episode of Atlanta. So people came in with these expectations that, oh, it's going to be this huge documentary that's a production. And perhaps the whole thing is just a bait and switch we're going to see in a couple of days after this is uploaded, if it is actually a movie, but I don't think so. I think it's going to be a couple of minutes, maybe 10 minutes long, and it's just to promote the album. Because think about it, hate spreads much further than love. So if, you're, if you've got your rollout based on people clowning this supposed documentary, when the album actually drops, people are going to check it out. People are going to check it out regardless. It's 21 Savage. He's one of the hottest rappers in the game right now, feature rappers at least. His last album was years ago. Like, I am greater than I was. When was that? I mean, he had Savage Mode 2 with Metro Boomin. That was a lot more recent. Well, we're considering his complete solo album. That's more of a joint project, like when the duo comes together. And they always perform well together. So yeah, I am greater than I was. That showed a lot more growth. But now it's time to see, hey, what's going to happen now? I'll, 21 Savage has lived a lot of life since then. He's gone through a lot of experiences. He's been brought to new heights in his career, thanks in part to Drake, who 
I, I still have that theory that Drake wrote for a lot of 21 Savage tracks on her loss together. But people were saying they were writing for each other or they were writing together, but eh, what bars or hooks is 21 Savage really going to give Drake? Come on now. I think Drake just wrote him a bunch of stuff that Drake wouldn't be able to rap because it would hit different if Savage was the one reciting it. Expectations in terms of numbers, honestly, if you guys see, I don't really talk about that stuff that much anymore because it's just, it kind of doesn't matter. It's kind of fake, if not completely fake. So to misrepresent something is... I just don't like it. However, if we have to like throw something out there, I think his last album did a lot. Like 21 Savage. Well, are we going to inc include Savage Mode 2? Let's just say I am greater than I was. The first week sales for that was around like 130K. Now, Savage Mode 2 was like 225. It was a lot. It, was, it, it wasn't 300. No, nah, it was like, okay, it was like 170. All right, so 170, 130. I think 100. I'm going to put 100 being a solid outcome for 21 Savage in this case. He's had the Drake push. He's had hit songs since then. He's had a feature run. 21 Savage hasn't really missed. I mean, he also had some features on the most recent Metro Boomin album. So we haven't seen 21 Savage cool off like other artists who have dipped and then come back into the limelight. I would even say Jack Harlow felt like he was gone for longer than 21 Savage and Jack Harlow came with a number one. The question is, can 21 Savage pull out a hit? I think people enjoy his albums. I think people enjoy his features, but has he ever had, well, we could say X. That, that was kind of a hit, but that was with Future too. He had bank account. So he's had, yeah, he's had definitely had solo hits, but I don't know how far those really charted. Bank account I know is a huge song, but I don't know if it charted super high initially or if it just slowly, slowly crept up and then kept doing numbers over time. But I'm interested to see how this does. I actually like 21 Savage's last album, I Am Greater Than I Was. I enjoyed that more than Savage Mode 2. I don't really go back to Savage Mode 2 often as a whole album. Maybe I'll listen to a track here and there. I go back to Heroes Without Heroes Over Villains more than I do that. And I go back to Without Warning. And then there's like the one with the explosion. I just remember the album covers. Not really the songs that are inside because I kind of listen to albums top to bottom. So half the time, I wouldn't even be able to name so many song names to you. I could just name you the person's discography in terms of albums. But I'm deviating from the topic here. For 21, I'm interested to see how he develops. He's continuously matured with each album. He's bigger than ever now. What perspective has he gained? He hadn't spoken about really anything regarding his case. And this is his time to really speak on it now. So looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think this was like a bait and switch with the... Uh, quote unquote movie documentary and do you think it was a good idea like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed follow me on twitter and instagram thank you for watching peace